Hi, it's Fishing Sister. Pontalawi Bay has got a surf break at one end and then it sweeps all around to where we're standing on the other side where there's some rocky areas, very shallow water, which is just perfect for float fishing. So we've come down here today. It's just coming up to high tide now and we can see the fish jumping in the water. It's really shallow, but they're jumping out of the water. So we feel as though we're going to have a very fun time, hopefully catching some late gar, if we're lucky, or maybe some mullet, or you never know, you might even get a tommy. So we've got the perfect autumn day, hardly any wind and lots of sunshine. So sun sets in a few hours. So we're hoping for some nice fish for dinner tomorrow night. Well, Martin, there's fish jumping out of the water all over the place. Let's hope we can catch some. And it's so shallow. You're like a foot of water, I reckon, Martin. Oh, I think it's a bit deeper than that. It's more yeah. like two or three, I reckon. So we've got a barrel float. Linda and I got the same rigs on. Barrel float with a single size six hook. I'm always surprised at how shallow the water can be with quite large fish. Put the gents on there. Alright Martin, let's see what you can do. <laughs> that is like a postcard. There he goes. Let's see those fish starting to jump on. Come on fish. Yeah, they're just a bit further out. Yeah, well, the burley should bring them in. Yeah, it should do. So we can see the fish out there, but they're a fair way out. Great. Okay. Look at these rocks. Oh, watch what we're doing. We're going to break them here. Oh, see that one jump out just then? Oh. Wow, there's lots of bites. Okay, so you can see the burly still in there, hasn't all gone, which is good. You don't want it coming out too fast. Come on. Ooh, he's a fighter. Look at that. Jagged the line. We've got him in the back. That's interesting. Very clever, they can get that bait off. So that's how I do it, put some gents on. Always put the lid back on the container because those gents are pretty tricky. They'll get out. Let's try and cast a bit further this time to where the action is. And I've got to say, casting off of these rocks is really challenging. The surface is so uneven. Let's just see what happens now. Come on. Oh, is that a Tommy? Shoes, Martin. I can't cast out far enough, it's so I'm going to get the shoes. I'm going to walk all the way out. Okay, this is nine, 19 nice. centimeters. So that'll taste good, but also be good bait. All right, I'm going to go to the car. Anything else you want while I'm there? Beer in your dreams, Martin. So I headed back to the car to get my fishing shoes. 
When I returned, I realised I also needed my bait bucket, which I'd left in the car. How annoying. I always think of things after I leave the car. I should have brought that blue thing to wear when I'm out there, because I won't want to keep coming back in. Yeah, yeah. If you know what I mean. The bait holder thing. Yeah, because I'm going to wade out. <coughs> when you yep. wade out, you don't want to be coming back in all the time. I was so keen to get out and catch one of those fish I could see jumping around that I decided to wait out and fish without my bait bucket. But this meant I couldn't top up my burley. So I had my keeper bag around my waist and off I went. I always feel a bit nervous fishing in the water because stingrays can be hanging around. But all I saw was a banjo ray. But that's <laughs> alright because they're harmless. Wading into fish was definitely the right call because I was able to cast right into where the fish were. My fishing shoes were perfect because I could walk over the sharp rocks and I didn't feel a thing. I've changed over to mullet for bait. Fish is taking the bait. Let's see what we got. Okay, we've got something on here. I've changed bait, so I'm using mullet. Now I'm catching these things. So I've changed my bait. Now I'm catching these. No good. It's a rock cod. Guys, if he goes. Okay. Let's try that again. We'll cast out. Wait to see what happens. Yes, I'm still out there. But I'm not catching anything. Unlike Martin, who seems pretty busy from what I can see. I don't know what Linda's doing. I haven't seen her catch a fish yet. Something's grabbing my bait. But it's not getting hooked. And I'll bet you it's those rock cods. Okay, we're on again. Probably another rock cod. Oh, I'm on. Yep, there you go. So it's been about 20 minutes and I still haven't caught any fish. I can see Martin's been pulling them in. So it looks like I'm going to have to go and get that burly bucket after all. So Martin's got fresh mullet on. So you might catch a mullet with mullet because they eat themselves. So they're definitely nibbling at that, Martin. Yeah, but they're like too small or something. Yeah. So I've got a size six hook. So I've got to say, it's really awkward on these rocks. It's not the easiest place to fish. A bit more burly, so I'll just crunch it up like that. Plonk it in. I don't fill it right up because if you do, it doesn't come out properly. Let's try that again. Oh, 
some mullet. Nice. Mullet on mullet. So they go mullet on mullet yeah. on the float rig with burly. So I'm going to go and get my bag here. Take out with me. So back to the car I go to get my bait bucket. There it is. I can put my burley in that and it seems that's the only way I'm going to catch fish today. So that's another half an hour wasted when I could be fishing. Oh well, I guess I'm getting some exercise. So in goes my burley. I'm using a couple of different shop bought ones today. And in go my gents. And I am good to go. So we've got Burley and Gents on this time. There you go, so... That was with the gents. How long did that take? About a minute? Yeah, radio. Now you're just showing off. I don't think it's not as big as the last one, that's for sure. No, it's a mullet. Oh, that's not a bad one. That is very nice. It's a bit beaten up, that one. Well, it is, isn't it? It's got a few scales. Look at that. It's had something in its back. Yeah. Something's had a go at it. Okay, I'm going to go out there now. I've got my keeper bag. I think I can get my foot out of these rocks. So after about an hour of messing around, I'm finally properly set up to get some fish. Just as well, because I've got some catching up to do. It's about 27 centimetre mullet. Always carry a rag with you. <laughs> Otherwise it's disgusting. Okay, I'm gonna cast out again. Let's see what we can catch. You can see Linda's out there. Let's see what she can catch. Oh, finally, some really good bites. That burly must be working. It's a good sized one too. Woohoo! Okay, it's a start. I wonder if I can get a few more. See, as soon as you put that burley in, you get results. Now Linda's got one. And then this happened. I'd wound my line in too far, so I was pulling the fish down towards me to get the hook out of its mouth. Then when I removed the hook, it flicked up and lodged in my thumb because the line was under pressure. Ouch! And there was no way that was coming out. So I had to stop fishing, go back to the rocks, put everything down and see if I could get this hook out. How's it going over there? Yeah, I just got a hook stuck in my finger and I can't, I can't, I haven't got enough hands to deal with it. Honey. I've flicked into my finger. I haven't got any hands to take it out. So I just need you to take this. I just need that still alive it's just it's not in very far it's just awkward it doesn't want to come out do you think mm. i should twist it down it's got the barb in there yeah hmm. 
I've never got one stuck in my finger before. Okay, so it's not going to come out. Best thing to do is just tape it up and get back to some fishing and deal with it later. So Linda, show us your thumb now. There we go, good as new. I don't think so, you can see um, the hook out. I know, there. but it hurts a little bit, but not too much. I don't want to stop fishing, so I'll fix it up tonight when I've got a bit of ice on it and maybe it won't hurt so much pulling it out. And back I go. So by now the weather's gone downhill and the wind's really picked up. Seems to have sent a lot of the fish away. I can still see a few in the water though. This place has got such a peaceful vibe with all the fishing boats around. And another mallet. tape around my thumb sure was making it awkward trying to bait up, but I got the job done. The water's still nice and clear but the wind's definitely getting up. Wow, what a beautiful fish. going to taste great. And another one. It's so nice to be catching some fish. Oh wow, nice little Tommy Ruff. Oh, that was so great. Dinner is sorted. So what you can see behind me is the next bay around from Pondalawi because we've walked around here where the wind got too much where we were fishing. So we've come across here to try and get out of the wind. So it's been pretty challenging doing our float fishing at Pondalawi this afternoon. Managed to get a hook through my thumb. That's the first. So I'm not looking forward to pulling that out this evening in the caravan park but anyway it's going to have to be done <laughs> it's going to hurt so yeah just stuck some tape around it for now and uh, yeah have to pull that out later we did manage to catch quite a few fish though caught some tommies and also some mullet on float rigs we used some gents and also some fresh mullet that we'd caught so the secret again was the burley so Pondalau is a very pretty place to come there's rock fishing, there's fishing off the beach, different experiences that you can have here. It's lovely, highly recommend it. This is Fishing Sister saying goodbye.